You Where know? did the inspiration come from? For people that don't know, who is Dominique Crin? Where did you come from? Where's the story? Lead us up to a little bit to today. Well, I... I <laughs> humble, hum, humble way. Let me think. Where do I come from? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. there's a mother, um, I know, yes. but uh, No, but, you know, um, so I was born and raised in France. I was born in Versailles. Um, I was uh, a little orphan until the age of... Uh, uh, six months a year, um, amazing people from Brittany um, adopted me, and um, and um, then you know the rest is history. You know I I was very lucky to have incredible parents, mm -hmm. um, parents that were um, um, really open to um, a lot of things, diversity. You know, um, open to uh, art, literature. <laughs> And mm -hmm. food, you know, and um, I kind of, you know, like when you're a little kid, you're just like a sponge, you know, mm -hmm. and I was very, I was guide, they guide me, you know, beautifully. And I think um, today, the way that I go through life, I, I try to uh, make them proud. Mm -hmm. And so every day is, is kind of a, um, and embracing what I've learned as a little girl and, and being better every day. It's about evolution, you know, so. I don't know, I just, it's it's pretty, you know, interesting. And, and I just, you know, I'm here just to, not just for myself, but to be a part of, of the community and, and to be a part of humanity. And, and I hope that's, that's something that is going to happen because there's a lot of trouble in this world that yeah. made me crazy. It makes everybody crazy. It, just, it, it, it really does. We need to, co you know, we need to connect again. There is a lot of disconnection in this world, you know. How do you think we can do that? I mean, in, in, we can ask a million people. I mean, Bill Clinton would have a different conversation than you and I talking. How do you feel you can make that impact today? Because I remember when what this the universe that we're talking about, how it changed not too long ago, and I looked at my partner, my wife, and I said, I'm worried about you right now. I'm worried about what's in my four walls. And I said, you and I are going to make sure that we're safe here, and I'm going to take care of you here, and we're going to slowly go outside those yes. and find the things. that. Where do you feel like you could? I mean, it's pretty easy. It's, a, it's, a, it's a taking the time to connect, taking the time to have a conversation with someone, taking right. the time to be curious about someone or, and not and, and put your phone down and, and stop looking at your computer and just stop looking at watching those, those TV show on stream, I don't know, I'm online, not gonna, yeah. online or yeah. all that. Just take the time to have a conversation with someone. Um, we're losing language. We're losing the importance of language. We're losing the importance of, of remembering history. We're losing all of that. Take the time to do this. Call your mom. Uh, go, go see your grandfather. Go see your grandmother. Or just, you know, have a conversation with someone maybe is older than you or maybe someone that is younger than you. Just take the time to have a conversation. And that's what, you know, when people come to my restaurants, I want them to have a dialogue. I want them to have a conversation. I want them to understand that there is another human in front of them and mm -hmm. there is other human around them and there is so much more that we can learn about this world beside you know being on a phone 24 7. just take the time put your phone down i want the world to put their phone down for 25 minutes blackout mm -hmm. pick up a book read right somebody asked me the other day they said i i i subscribed to the chronicle to come to my house just think about just think about how small that is. Yeah. But I subscribe to a newspaper to be delivered to my house, to go on my front door. And since I've done that, when I walk the dogs in the morning, I pull the paper out. Now, granted, I'm not liking what's on the pages. I'm not understanding the universe that we're in right now. But exactly like you just said, I stopped. And another lesson that I've learned this year is somebody told me this, a very, very big influencer. And he says, when you think of somebody, call them no matter what you do. Yep. No matter yes. how it is. Because I miss the days of my auntie sending me a postcard for my birthday. How amazing is that? My grandmother, God rest her soul, sent me $20 until the day I turned 21. And her handwritten birthday card beautiful. is the most beautiful thing that you can ever remember. You're right. We are forgetting this. Yes. Because everything is so fast. Yes, it has right. to be fast. It has to be fast. How did you today become the food extraordinaire and, and the chef that you are? Where was food in this lifetime of mom feeding you and coming up, where did it turn into you now? 
Well, I mean, I think food is, is you know, food, when you look at food, food is the core of the society. You it know, is. And if there is no food, there is no society. So right. food connects people together, you know, and from that, then it's, it's up to you if you want to do something a little bit more artistic. And for me, it's just, you know, I'm looking at it as an, an, a way of expressing myself, you mm-hmm. know, and I think this is, you know, I can do something a little bit more fine dining or something, but everything has a purpose. And so it's, you know, if you're a writer, then you pick up your pen and you write, you mm-hmm. know, if you, if you want to do something with food, you know, food is art for me. So I mean, mm-hmm. some people might not be agree with me, but, but art, art of feeding the soul. And mm-hmm. that's what it is, you know? And, um, I don't know. It's, it, it went naturally. I mean, I didn't go to school. I have a, you did not No, I have a business degree, uh, and a bachelor in economy. And I think I was more attracted in, uh, I don't know. Connecting with people. I need people. I will not be able to be nine to five, five in a mm-hmm. sitting down on an office space. Is it pretty powerful to you to know that on any given day when somebody walks into Dominique's many restaurants and many more to come, uh, that that's either an anniversary, a Tuesday, a holiday, an anniver- uh, um, it could be a birthday, that they're revolving and making their night through you and you're in control of that. I think a lot of people always forget that we have the chance and the opportunity as chefs to make and break. Sure. To know that they chose, and every single day in a dining room as small as yours is at your flagship, that with that many seats, everybody has a holiday. Everybody has yes. an anniversary. Yes. And I mean, it's special, you know. It is special. And you have to make make sure that they have a special time. So it's not, for me, it's not having guests in the restaurant. Is I know that when someone comes to, to my house, it's my house, they are, they are my guests. And mm-hmm. I'm the host, and I want to make sure that this is an incredible experience, and I want them to be happy, you know. And I, you know, obviously, you you know, if you come to the restaurant, I mean, I'm there, and I mm-hmm. hang out with my guests. You know, we talk. Sometimes, sometimes we have a glass of wine at the end of the dinner. It's really it's amazing. your house, right? It's 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 really cool. But you know, it's just I want people to be happy there. You know, it's it's a space that we it's a space that we're creating for people to be happy and to connect. This is the, this moment in time, and and we feel very lucky to be a part of that, mm-hmm. to be, be able to do this for them, you know. As you're creating, and there's more restaurants that that you're working on, the wine bar is coming very soon, correct? Yes. Finally. Finally. <laughs> you know what? It, it, somebody <laughs> tweeted something the other day, uh, everything just takes time. As simple as that line is, it's really true. If you yes. rush things, things are going to get rushed. There's just sure. no cutting corners at the end of the day. No, you don't want to cut corners, no. especially nowadays, you know. But yes, so yes. It's a fierce food world out there, so you got to make sure that it's it, you're ready for it, and, and you are. With all the food going on and, and you being voted the number one female chef in the world, which is just mind, it's, it's, it's mind-blowing. It's amazing to sit with somebody like you and watch you grow through the last decade and see where you're at. It only makes sense that you're writing a memoir. Talk to us about it. Well, yes. I mean, um, a memoir is not an autobiography. Yes. So it's a it's time and place. Um, yeah, I mean, I um, so I wrote a book, uh, a cooking book, uh, two years ago, and then uh, with Karen Ibovich, and then I um, I wanted to say something that it has connection with food, but not really, but something a little bit more connection with humanity and the world, and. Um, and I was lucky enough to be able to uh, to start to write something. So um, it's Penguin is going to be publishing mm-hmm. the book, I hope, by next year, 2018. What are you learning by writing this right now? What are you... When I'm, I'm, uh, I'm writing it with uh, Veronica Chambers, which is she's mm-hmm. an amazing uh, lady and it's been incredible. You know, it's it's interesting. You know, we talk and we sit down, and I just I just pour out things that I want to say, and mm-hmm. and she just I find a lot of things about myself that perhaps I didn't know, mm-hmm. and um, it's it's uh, humbling to do this, but also realizing that sometimes you need to speak your truth. You know, mm-hmm. you need to ask questions. You need to be curious, and and hopefully, it's it will be a book that will be that that will inspire. The, my generation, but the, the the new generation and maybe the older generation, and it's a book that I want someone that is younger or older pick up the f- book and 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 can read it and and really think about the world and where we are today. So mm-hmm. it's kind of looking at the world 
through my eyes and and my voice and and I have a big voice sometimes. Go ahead, scream. Go ahead. <laughs> Do you? But it, there's coffee and cream that are uh, that are filling. No, around. I mean it's it's yeah. a, it's it's to be uh, it's it's about being thoughtful, but not being afraid of speaking the truth on things. What's next for you? Where do you see these chapters going? Because it's got to be pretty cool to be in the part of what you're you're living in right now, and and to see the growth with your company and the chefs that are come underneath you and where you're going. What do you want next? You know, I think what I want right now is is really um, to for my team to be happy and to really come together. Um, you know, actually, Crane is is my baby and mm-hmm. it's been my baby for a long time. I'm not ready to let it go. Mm-hmm. It's probably it's, it's going to stay there for mm-hmm. forever. Great neighborhood too. Um, but you know, it's it's it's. I want to create an incredible culture of of a work culture and 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 I want people that come in and work with us in the company to be proud and and happy and and I hope they can also be able to to grow and to to thrive and 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 I hope I can be able to help them to do that um so I mean there's a lot of things but right now it's where I am today so it's just it's still I can't tell you the future I get a lot of dreams yeah you know I was with Eric Repair just not too long ago and I was with him in his library Lee Bernadette is 32 years old, I think. It's amazing. Isn't, isn't it? I and I, I remember sitting with Eric, and, and I asked him, I said, the next chapter, and he's like, I'm done with the memoir. He's like, I'm cultivating, I'm creating, I'm making sure that, you know, Coco and everybody else, the future of the restaurant yeah. and so on. He's like, you know what I want? I want my day off to be my day off. I'm here five days a week. I do my thing. He's like, and a day off, by the way, Ryan, is not a day off with a tablet. A day off is not with TV. The day off is me absorbing the universe. Yes. What's a day off for you, which you haven't had in a long time? But you know, I think he's right. I mean, I um, people think I'm uh, I'm very social, and then mm-hmm. I mean, I love people. I, I love to hang out with a lot of people. I love to travel and all that. But you can find me. No, you can't find me sometime <laughs> on my day off. I just, I just, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gone. I'm like. Isn't that beautiful though? Yeah, I don't have any phone. I usually, I, I, I mean. Sometimes I go to the museum. Sometimes I just go and sit down somewhere uh, by the Golden Gate Bridge. I love Chrissy Field. I love that whole area. Mm-hmm. Just I, I write, and that's it. I'm just looking and I'm watching people and I'm and I'm breathing and I'm trying to breathe myself, you mm-hmm. know. And you need to to disconnect. You need to connect every day, but this is the time when you need to disconnect with the world. To reconnect. And to reconnect. Yeah. Yes. And I think that's important, you know. And what I learned, you know, through these years, you know, and I'm very thankful about everything that's been happening to us, you know. Um, it's not just my title. It's, it's my team title. Um, we've been putting, you know, a lot of people want you to do this and this. And what I've been learning for the last few months, I, I, I can't do everything. I need to stay put where I am and that's what I've been doing you know and it's it's San Francisco it's my home there's a lot of things going on I mean the fire you know in mm-hmm. the one country really uh, helped me to to realize that this is my home mm-hmm. and whatever happened here I need to be here I need to be present you need to be present you know and mm-hmm. yeah I mean I mean, I'm going to the Cayman Island when we close Atelier Crane um, in 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 January. You should. Yeah, we with with Eric, you know. Oh, so, oh you are. So, okay. so this is great, you know. But I think when the restaurant is closed, then you can go away. Right. But I think this is the time for us to be here in San Francisco because San Francisco is an amazing city, and and I think California is is not a state; it's an amazing country. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. I think the the name of this podcast is "There's Nothing Better Than the Present." Yeah, I think we're gonna we're gonna finish with that. Yeah. It's an honor. You are always welcome back. You like this microphone thing? I take, love take, it. Take a break from me, girl. You can you can have this anytime you want. Should I sing now? Go ahead, sing, sing us out. Sing us out. Do whatever no, you want. No, go no, ahead. No. Come on, do it. Sing sing me out. Go ahead. Come on, you got it. Love me, tender love me true. <laughs> you can't look at me like that because I'm gonna. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.